Hello everyone, thank you for attending. My name is Rizzo Manchay and uh, uh, first of all I uh, present an introduction of our, uh, um, our project uh, which is called Tangible Biological Networks, exploring structural features of biological networks using uh, multi-surface and tangible interactions. Networks analysis and visualization tools have become central components of uh, computational and systems biology. Such tools uh, provide a language to describe relations uh, within complex systems and uh, play a key role in understanding cellular functions. Most efforts are focused on reconstructing the biological network topology by using existing concepts in signal and network processing and uh, mathematics and relating them to cellular organization. However, we have a very limited lens on what is going on because uh, we are looking at classification results that are based on partial ground truth and also we don't have good ways of extracting and understanding prior information that might be available. Consequently, there is a need for interfaces that allow researchers to explore the structural features of the biological system via gene and protein interactions and discover recurring features by representing these interactions as a network and enable uh, researchers to discover evidence and form insights and make hypotheses based on the obtained trends using network analysis. Our project um, aims to create an interactive tool that will support interactive model uh, building through data exploration, uh, replacing purely automated statistical analysis our first version focuses on um, data exploration and uh, gathering evidences. The approach this project takes is a tangible visual analytics, in short, employing the novel human computer interaction techniques to support the data exploration and model building process. When we start to analyze, often we don't analyze in a bubble. Uh, but uh, we need the insight of several individual kinds of experience. Tangible interfaces are good for this as they facilitate uh, collaboration in this process. In recent years, there has been a growing interest uh, in the use of tangible embodied and uh, tabletop interaction techniques and uh, to support the exploration and interpretation of biological data sets. In these work, in these works, uh, tangible and uh, tabletop interfaces have proved uh, to be effective in supporting collaboration, distributed cognition, and uh, reflection, which makes them good candidates for problem solving and discovery in computational biology. Now I'd like to introduce our system called Tangible Biological Networks. This is a multi-platform system that supports data exploration through a combination of tangible and gestural interactions and controls the structural features and parameters on an inter, uh, interactive uh, tabletop. These tabletop tangible interactions are combined with the visualization of genetic interaction networks and their various structural features on the large interactive wall. We have three modes uh, to navigate, organisms uh, space, structure, features space, and networks work space. In the next slides, I give a brief overview of the different tasks and interactions supported by the system. The first task um, a user might want to do is uh, select an organism and its type the system draws data from uh, the BioGrid database, so which includes 60 different organisms. The selection is made uh, with a tangible interactive object that we call an Actable. You could see it here in the donut chart, in the middle of donut chart. When the Actable is placed on the table, the organism selection menu is shown around it on the right. 
and when an organism is selected, the user can select its network type uh, from the menu shown on the left, and the networks are binary directed or binary undirected, weighted directed, uh, or uh, weighted undirected. The user may also want to explore the structural features of different organisms. The user first selects a category of a structural feature on the Actival, either node-based, link-based, and network-based, shown left. And the filters of that type uh, are then displayed around the Actival, as shown on the right, and the user can select a particular filter. These filters can later be applied to an organism bound to another Actival. For example, by stacking the filter Actival on top of the organism Actival. The system also allows users to um, position their selected organisms on the large eyeball display in order to make comparisons. When the user selects the network's workspace with an, an Actival, Four empty workspace containers appear uh, both on the eyewall and the tabletop. These remain empty till they are filled by a selected organism. In the next slides, I'll uh, talk about more complex tasks and interactions. These include single organism and feature exploration as well as exploration uh, and comparison across multiple organisms. Users may want to get a better understanding of the topological structure of the selected networks. This is done by assigning the selected organisms to the different containers using the activals and performing different uh, tangible interactions. For example, bumping an organism activable with a filter activable will apply the filter to that network and the results will be visualized on the eyewall and the mobile devices truth change in the nodes and edges of the network like um, the eigenvalue figure and feature shown on the right side. User can also explore a certain structural feature on several organisms by stacking the feature active assigned on a network's workspace active this helps to gather evidence and improve understanding of features on multiple biological networks as the stacking interaction applies the filter to all selected organisms. The user can make valuable comparisons and by selecting networks of different sizes and seeing the effects. Users may also want to compare similarities and discordances between structural features uh, using the same set of biological networks. To do this, the user can stack an activable in the network's workspace mode with four applied organisms on top of another activable in network workspace mode to duplicate them. Features can then easily be applied across the same set of organisms facilitating comparison since the features affect the network components visually in different ways. Now, I'd like uh, to talk a bit uh, about how the system has been used and evaluated. We have been designing uh, the system through a participatory uh, process involving both BME and HCI researchers. The BME researchers have been using the system in their work through of the design process. Requirements for the work influence change in the design and new interactive features support new ways of tackling biological networks questions. Through this process, we've already formed an insight that would have been difficult if, it, if not put, put impossible would, uh, without the two. In brief, the tangible biological networks system helps to reveal evidence that the eigenvalue distribution of biological networks follows a circle shape around the origin axis in the complex plane, which overturned the previous assumption. We also invited six outside uh, experts to provide their feedback. All of them found 
that the system promotes collaborative exploration and discussion and felt and this could reduce misunderstandings about ma mathematical concepts. Finally, you could see a video of task sequence of this system. screens to visualize this data and interact with, the, with this uh, data but um, right now uh, you know we have plan to bring just tabletop and visualize you know uh, the networks and you know this reconstruction that we have uh, for the biologists inside of the hospital probably Sikhi's hospital and uh, to, to interact with the data their, their own data uh, uh, but uh, yeah, you're right. We cannot move around, you know, that big wall, and uh, uh, probably that big table uh, at this moment. Are there plans to make it iPad compatible or something? You know, something that that is commonplace maybe in a research environment. So uh, there is a good option on this system that you could, you know, get the result. And by interacting with this system and save it on your tablet or your cell phone or your, your laptop and move it around 
you could you know save interactive visualization uh, as a result for example all of these structural features that we are extracting from this system uh, would be um, uh, you, you could save it in different formats on your you know tablet uh, and you could you know discuss it with your colleagues you know later in different meeting and you don't need to have access to these you know technology later Let's uh, thank you, sir.